Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Stefan and I live, work and travel in my self-built camper van Ganapati. Because I wanted to cook most of my meals while on the road, I wanted to make sure I have everything I need. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a full tour of my inside kitchen, my outside kitchen, plus I have a bonus feature that I integrated in the van when I did the build. Let's dive right in. Let's start with the inside kitchen. First thing you'll notice, I have a sink. It's a seven inch deep sink. It has a faucet that pulls up. Underneath the sink, I have a seven gallon water tank and it feeds the water to the faucet by a foot pump. The reason I got a foot pump rather than an electric pump at the beginning is because I wanted to conserve water and you'll be surprised with seven gallons of water how much I can control. Believe it or not, when I go out in the backcountry or anywhere, just my day-to-day -day routine, it actually does hold for about two weeks. That includes me washing dishes, washing my face, washing myself and pretty much everything I need water for. I do not drink water out of the seven gallon water tank. I actually have two separate one gallon jugs. I actually just fill them up at those filter stations for 40 cents a gallon. So they also last me about a week. In the future, I also want to find one of those electric pumps that I could submerge under water in the jug. Because I hear they don't make a lot of noise, which is great when I'm in the city. That's one of the reasons I just opted out. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below because I do read them. Next I have a butcher block tabletop. I have like a butcher block oil and once in a while I'll reapply it just to make sure I keep it in top condition. Underneath I have a few crates. One of them has pots and pans and storage containers and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Another one has some clothes in it like my socks or underwear. Another one has my t-shirts and my shirts folded up and on the bottom drawer i also have this basket where i can keep my vegetables and fruits that don't need refrigeration moving on i also have these mason jars that are screwed in the ceiling or the lids are screwed in the ceiling and then i can just unscrew them i usually keep stuff that i need quick access to and mostly it's coffee oatmeal and flax seeds and stuff like that right here on the left i also have these spice racks where i keep most of my spices i also have this rack here with this delicious extra virgin olive oil it's infused with basil and these wooden plates and the reason i got wood is because they don't rattle they don't break and i also use them as a cutting board especially in the city because they're easier to clean and if i need to cut something on the fly they're perfect for that i also like the fact that i have this window while i'm cooking in front of the kitchen sometimes it's uh, just a parking lot but sometimes it's a nice view like today and i love that now let's go to the right side of the kitchen and up here i have the paper towel which I can use from inside and outside. Next I have this soft pocket wall where I keep stuff that need easy access. One spoon, one fork, one ceramic knife, one tongs, one ladle and other few things that I might need like uh, scissors and a uh, small screwdriver. <laughs> Next, underneath that, the first thing I have is a cutting board. And I bought the cutting board specifically with these grooves because I don't want any juices to spill. I have these two small drawers that one of them has the rest of the cutlery if I have people over or if I camp with more people. The other drawer is kind of like a miscellaneous drawer where I keep from magnets to like a sewing kit and other various things that I don't access all the time, but it's kind of my junk drawer. When I open this door, first thing you'll see is my butane propane stove that I use in the van and it's worked pretty good. It's very small and compact. It's also great on the fly. Underneath that, I have another crate that includes cleaning supplies, garbage bags, and butane for my stove and the lids for the pot and the pan helicopter those are the struggles of filming people on the bottom of the closet you'll see i have the heating duct for my heater but next to it you'll see that i have a portable cooler which i use if i go hiking or i go somewhere a little bit more away from the van 
first drawer here, I have more storage for food, dry goods, canned food. In the second drawer here, I have stuff that I use most of the time. First of all, I have my big skillet. I bought the biggest one that I could find in the store and that's the only place I can place it. It doesn't fit anywhere else. And underneath that, I have some pistachios, some crackers and some other canned food that I use more often. In this drawer next to it, it's usually my coffee stuff. So it's basically my tea kettle, my French press, my box wine right now and other tea and coffee stuff. As part of the kitchen, I do have a fridge. It's a Costway and I believe it's 55 quarts. It also works on 12 volt. It doesn't take a lot of energy. I've had this fridge for two years and it's been working really great. If I'm in the city during the night, I actually pull it back in in the living space and pull the curtains. That way, if somebody passes by, they don't see a big fridge. That would be a big indication that this is a camper. On the other hand, if I'm camping at a campground somewhere, I will leave it in the middle and then at night, I will leave it on the cab area because it gets colder so the fridge won't run as much and I also pull the curtains sometimes if it gets really cold outside I'll turn on the heater here but the fridge is on the other side and it keeps everything pretty cool next time I would prefer to get a fridge that has the dual zone so I can have a freezer and a fridge and also be a little bit bigger now let me show you my outside kitchen which I love This table unfolds and folds pretty quickly. The hardest thing is to get it out of the back because I sit a lot of things on it like the stove and tools and other stuff like that. The name of the brand is GCI Outdoor. I got it off Amazon. It's super nice because the stove fits perfectly. This is a Coleman stove. And now I have these double shelves plus one underneath where I can store a bunch of things. It also has these nice grooves for various things to put on there like spices and stuff. I obviously only take this out when I'm camping at a campground or while camping. I can't camp outside in the city but uh, this is my outdoor adventure kitchen. And for the big reveal just as I promised the inside kitchen can turn into the outside kitchen. Now when this door opens up, I can put my small stove here, start cooking. And this table also has another table here, like a drop leaf table. And I can put my cutting board here, cut my stuff away. It also has a spice rack with my on-the-go spices that I can use, like coconut oil, pepper, and Italian seasoning. And it serves as my tiny outside kitchen if I don't want to set up the other kitchen. If you want to see more van life related content, you can check out this video up here where I camp in the woods and I cook on the campfire and it's amazing. Thank you for coming along on today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you so desire, and I will see you in the next one.